In this one, we'll be checking out solar system anomalies, specifically on an asteroid not too far from Earth called Bennu, and uh, photographs taken by the OSIRIS-REx orbiter show compelling evidence of ancient megalithic artifacts present on Bennu. OSIRIS-REx and Bennu are located in this orbit just outside the orbital plane of the Earth and uh, OSIRIS-REx is planning a checkpoint rehearsal on the 14th of April 2020 at that location. Distance-wise, OSIRIS-REx and Bennu are located just over 234 million kilometers from Earth and uh, OSIRIS-REx is currently just over 14 kilometers from Bennu. Very close. We'll be having a look at some very, very close-up photos that were taken of Bennu by the OSIRIS-REx orbiter. Yeah, we've got a full view of Bennu asteroid and OSIRIS-REx took this photograph at a distance of around 80 kilometers from the asteroid. We'll be taking a look at three artifacts I discovered on Bennu asteroid. The first one, this one was brought to my attention by my friend Marsform Barnsey. Check out his channel on YouTube. He's got fascinating anomalies to show you guys as well. That strange structure there is about 20 meters across. And it uh, reminds me of dolmens found in Ireland. Check out that one over there. We've got like a roof structure over here and supporting structures underneath. I wish we had side views of the anomalies that I've discovered on Mars, guys and girls. We could then check out the uh, structure. Here it is, moved over to the right and we can see the uh, rectangular structure and uh, a protrusion or knob right there in the center line. And there it is, close up, very similar to anomalies found on Mars and Earth and uh, there's one from Mars. This is uh, also about the same size and it also has a protrusion or knob there in the center line. And it's from our video the Earth, Mars and OSIRIS-REx Bennu link existence of ancient builder race confirmed. And there it is close up guys. We've got this rectangular structure and the protrusion or knob right there. Very similar to the one on Bennu. This photograph was taken on the 3rd of March 2020 and it shows that rectangular structure which is about 2.7 meters across. Up close, this piece is about 2.7 meters across. We've got straight edges and right angles to those two megalithic slabs or blocks. Very similar to the blocks found in Pumapunku in Bolivia, as well as on Mars. The rover Curiosity took that photograph. And uh, there it is, we've got multiple slabs, check out the bevel on that one. Another block over there, lots of blocks over here guys. And uh, there it is, zoomed up, we're looking at uh, the rectilinear designs on these blocks. Got straight edges, smooth flat surfaces and right angles. That one there has got a very unusual shape as well. Also taken very recently, we're looking at uh, that anomaly there, this one over here, as well as this larger piece over there, which is about 1.5 meters long, acquired on the 3rd of March 2020. So the first one we're checking out is right there, and uh, it's got a hole right there in its center guys and some strange uh, patterns on it as well.
lots of parallel lines and 90 degree angles and we find uh, these megalithic blocks here on earth as well also with holes in them this is from a dolmen from russia and there's a photograph the mro took of uh, mars also have megalithic blocks with holes in them so there are the anomalies that block over there is about 12 by 5 meters in size and the hole is about a meter in diameter and you can find these over at my blog and video called the megaliths and wreckage of Tikov on Mars and uh, there we can see the block it's got a hole in it some more blocks over here there's another hole and again we've got uh, smaller protrusions or knobs arranged in a circular pattern around it and there's another square pattern on that one yeah we're looking at that smaller block and on it we've got two protrusions or knobs that are of equal size reminds me of the megalithic blocks found in south america in peru also have uh, two protrusions or knobs on them and there's some others this is from part two the Sidonian neolithic artists and builders of mars but that strange tombstone shaped megalith with uh, three smaller protrusions or knobs arranged in a triangle and yeah that's right folks that's on mars there it is in the center of the screen it's about 6 by 12 meters in size and up close we can see the protrusions symmetry and geometry going on there again yeah we're looking at that large block which is about a meter and a half long and uh, very interesting is the well-defined edges to it and the equal angles over there some other blocks these are from south america from peru there's a block that's also got uh, a similar sort of design to it many other examples like it in those walls and yeah there's one on mars as well this is one example that i can show you this is from part two the sidonian neolithic artists and builders of mars as they have three straight edges similar angles to what's going on on that block right there's the anomaly it's about 12 by 15 meters in size there's another block to its left with a hole in it and uh, there's a disc with a protrusion in its center so let's check that out zoom up close we can see the symmetry going on in this piece and it's got a well-defined rounded side to it so the question again are we looking at remnants of an ancient builder race that occupied our solar system thousands of years ago that left ruins all over the place on Mars Earth and even on asteroids and uh, I don't know why NASA hasn't photographed that anomaly up close yet guys let me know in the comments below what you think is going on here that's it for this one guys and girls thanks for watching do take care and be safe see you in the next video bye for now